Welcome back down to Las Vegas, the site of the 2022 Mountain West Media Days. Welcome inside the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. Jay Tuss alongside Will Hall. We are joined none other than by the pride of Boise High School, John Ojuku. How's Vegas treating you so far? Uh, it's been great. Been here a couple times with football, so love the city. A little different this time, though. Mm -hmm. Got to answer a lot of questions. What yeah. do you think of the uh, the obligation or really the honor of coming down here and representing Boise State um, amongst everybody in the Mountain West? I'm just thankful for the opportunity, you know, for my teammates, from the coaches, just giving me this opportunity to come down and talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. John, how have summer workouts been? And for you personally, how much added muscle have you put on? <laughs> um, they've been great so far. We've been pushing each other, you know, to the limit every single day, like basically pushing our ways to failure as much as we can, you know, running faster. Every time we finish, we're adding one more rep, just doing a little extra mm -hmm. and just doing whatever it takes. You know, I remember, John, when you signed with Boise State, you didn't look like you do today. I remember especially your legs. I was like, man, how is he going to put on weight to, to be a left tackle in college? And now you're a two-time All-Mountain West player. Does it feel like you've been in college as long as you have? And, and where do you think you've grown the most? Um, well, I've been here for a while, but <laughs> each day is long, but the years go by quick. Yeah. So I'm um, just finding ways you know, maximize the day. Yeah. And that's the thing I think I've grown in the most. Um, helping my teammates out, teammates helping me just each day, you know, making it the best opportunity for yourself you can mm -hmm. and just competing every chance you get. John, you reflect on your journey from those days to where you are now. What are you most proud of? Just about all the guys I've met, the guys that have had an impact on my life, all the impact I've had on other people's lives, just, you know, those relationships and building each other up. How much fun has it been to stay home, be a part of your community? I know that you, you go fishing every now and then. Mm -hmm. You've been fishing at all this summer? Um, yes, been a, yeah, I've been a lot. And any, anything to brag about or? <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I haven't got a sturgeon yet this year, but I'll probably get one in the fall, hopefully. Okay. So you got one last year? Yes. Walk us through. What did you catch? Where was it? And how big was it? I was with Cole Bailey, who I caught the other big fish at Boise State with. We were sitting out there at the Snake River. It was like 1 a.m. He's about to pass out. I'm sitting there. And then the thing with sturgeon is when they hit, they hit like a trout. It's not like a big as big as you'd think. Yeah. It's like a little dink. So felt it, set the hook, and then knew I was on right there. Felt like I set it into a tree. And just like a 30 minute fight, forearms are burning, shoulders are burning, everything. You're out of breath. You're like excited at first, yeah. and you're just whew, fighting through it. What's tougher, reeling in a sturgeon or blocking Dimitri Washington on the edge? <laughs> oh, that's close. Because <laughs> one, you're fighting for 30 minutes. One, you're gonna f fight for like three or four seconds. So, Dimitri's good though. Uh, finally, John, we'll get you out of here on this. What is the goal for you after Boise State? And this is your final year of eligibility as a Bronco. What do you hope to achieve this year and, and what do you hope next year brings for you? Uh, Mountain West Championship and Bowl game. Trying to win all the games we can and do whatever it takes to compete. And then after that, we'll see, but you know, NFL hopefully. And yeah. I want to be a strength coach one day, so keep on working at that. John, man, it has been an absolute pleasure for both Will and myself. Been fun to watch you grow up and, and become a fixture of uh, not just the offensive line, but the Boys State football program. So good on you, man. You're making people proud, and congratulations. Thank you.